five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Noelle. I am a mama of two and I do all kinds of minimal lifestyle content here on my channel. But today's video is a little bit different. We're doing a whole little makeover of a space so i'm really excited for this makeover and to share this with you guys it's already done but you guys have to watch the video and see how it turns out i'm absolutely in love with it it's totally my vibe and i love it a lot of this stuff was thrifted or from facebook market and some things are from target as well and we also have a little diy in this project as well too so i'm gonna take you guys along through it i hope you guys really enjoy this style of video let me know down below in the comments if you guys like it what you guys think and yeah let's go ahead and let's jump into this video okay so first I wanted to start out by doing a thrift flip with this mirror so first off I got it from Goodwill it was like six dollars you guys so such a good deal when I saw it I had to have it so I paid really not much for it at all and I absolutely loved it it was originally painted this white color I am now scraping all of the excess chipping off paint and dirt we are going to go ahead and give this a little rinse in the shower because it was pretty dirty and I definitely needed only needed to give it a good clean and also whoever painted this before me really did not do the best paint job so there is white paint all over the mirror so I'm just scraping that off with my nails because why not I already have them if you have a scraper that works really well too but my nail was just doing the trick and that's what I'm using here so I'm just getting all of the excess paint off of the mirror so I can start to clean it and prep it for a new little paint job because boy did this mirror need it so I'm just rinsing it off with like lukewarm water nothing too hot or too cold and just making sure that it's nice and clean and ready for paint after I rinsed it with water I did pat it dry and let it dry just for a little bit and now I just took it outside and we are going to paint this really quickly this did not take long at all I am just taking newspaper and I'm covering the mirror that way the glass doesn't get all paint and all of that on it so that was really good and this worked really well it was so easy to do I'm just tucking in the newspaper underneath the rattan and yeah so this worked really well you can use paint if you want to or just regular paper but newspaper worked really well for this now I'm just shaking up the spray paint I just use rust-oleum khaki I believe is the color um, I'll leave it down below if it's not it or I'll just leave a link if you guys are interested anyway and you guys can restore or restore any rattan piece you want this is such a good color and very close to the natural color that rattan would be if it wasn't already painted so that's what I was going for is like a nice natural rattan look I think this one also had a satin finish a little glossy finish but I was worried about that when I ordered it I ordered it off of Amazon but honestly you guys it was not a problem at all it sprayed on so nicely and I only had to do like two coats and it was totally fine and it was such a quick and easy little DIY thrift flip and I'm so happy with the way it came out and if you get any paint on any mirror honestly you could just scrape it off really easy with like a coin or your nails or a little scraper it's so easy to get off and now it's time to open up some new furniture how exciting is that I love bringing in new pieces in my home I am a minimalist so I try not to bring in too many pieces just something that we are definitely going to use and has the purpose so this table is actually a desk I think the purpose is a desk originally but we are definitely changing the purpose and we are changing it into an entryway table so this was really easy to put together it was just putting on a few legs and screwing in a few screws D had it done in like 10 minutes you guys it was so simple and then we just put the drawers in and moved it right into place so it was a very easy install and so easy to put it together so that was great and I was happy about that there wasn't too many pieces 
and it was just really easy and simple to put together and this is also from target now we are going to home depot and we are just picking out some pompous grass which i was so excited that they had this i've been looking everywhere for pompous grass and the kids were just chilling and they were really good in the store thank god thank um and yeah so we're just walking around home depot looking lost like i usually do whenever i go into a home depot I always get turned around in there and I have no idea what aisle anything is on so I just you know walk around for a while but D was with me and he knows the store a little bit better or should I say a lot better D renovates houses and built houses for a living so he definitely knows Home Depot way better than I do so I was really glad that he was with me so this trip was definitely a lot smoother than it would have been without him so thank you babe but also yeah so here's a little shopping montage or whatever so I hope you guys enjoy and yeah let's get on to decorating and styling this space you guys I'm so excited so to finally make this vision come together it's been some days you guys I am one of those who starts projects and then like doesn't finish them for a while especially having kids so finally we're here we made it it is styling day so let's go ahead and let's pull this area together style it and if you see boxes right here it's because our car seats came in recently and they're still sitting here so we need to install those soon at some point and yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have here for decor. I really just got things that I already had or thrifted a while back and kind of knew I wanted to do this area already. So I just pulled some items that I've been holding and saving for this little project. I really encourage you to go to your local thrift stores. And you know, Target is pretty reasonable, but some of their stuff is kind of pricey. But anyway, so some of these things are from Target. Some, some of this I DIY'd. Some of it is thrifted, you guys, and I believe that little pot right here is from Facebook Market. So I really like to shop secondhand when I can. If you guys can hear the kids in the other room, they are watching something on TV. I think Coco Melon, so they're preoccupied why I style this little area. So I wanted to hang some plants up here, so that's in the vision. I'm going to put the mirror up on the wall and then we're just going to kind of style this area to make it more functional as well as make a little area for the kids to get ready in as well. So it's gonna kind of going to serve as like a mudroom slash entryway. Yes, mudroom slash entryway is what I'm going for. So I'm really excited to finally be pulling this together, but I really need functionality here in this space since we're going to use it a lot and probably the first area we obviously come to when we come in from the door so let's get to decorating. oh so I have the vacuum over here in this corner that's actually in pieces I'm cleaning out the vacuum right now as we speak I have random shoes I have my yoga mat that I've never even used yet I bought a rug a little bit back and a whole thing of shoes you guys this area definitely needs some decluttering and then over here decor pieces that are gonna also be functional this is gonna go in the kids little area to hang their little coats 
and a little mirror i thought this would be perfect for like their monastery area as well as like a little stool for them to get their shoes on and then i have this nice rattan tray that i think i'm going to keep here i have this macrame plant holder but i don't think i'm going to use this one because i came across another one we'll see which one i like better but i did get a hanging plant from home depot that came with one that is a little bit of a different color so i don't know this one is for a big plant we'll see we'll just see so i have that I'm not sure if i'm gonna use that call her sheba not a buddha i don't know but i have this little head thing that came off that's all right we'll still use you girl we'll still use you we will still use you i have this planter that i got or this vase it's not a planter from facebook market a while back and it has like a little bit of macrame and some beading so i'll probably use that to put some pompous grass in right now i just have this dried palm leaf which I think is cute that I'll probably just like keep in there with the palm pompous grass and then for decor books that I also read well I don't read this one this one was like 80 cents from the thrift store so I'm just gonna have that and then I have my Montessori toddler book that I actually do read quite often when I get the chance to so I'm gonna style it over in this area too and then I have this little canister thing that really doesn't it has like one of my reusable shopping bags in it so i can grab it at the door when i'm running out to go grocery shopping so i got this from target a while ago i was just in there though and they still had it so if you want this it's from the hearth and hand yes hearth and hand collection and i got it a little while back in like january so they do still have it and then i have my rattan wicker basket over here this is literally where we keep all of our dirty laundry <laughs> literally so i'm gonna keep that there probably because i think it's functional in this area with the laundry i just take the stuff from here and put it in here i just love that so i'm thinking over in this area we'll do like the little mirror for the kids the stool and um yeah so let's go ahead and let's start putting everything together so the first thing i'm gonna do is take everything off when you're styling any area you want to take everything off oh i don't even think i showed you guys that i have these di these diy like bead garland i have this so i'm going to use this probably somewhere in this area maybe we'll see i have to really play with it and see what i like and what i come to and then i also got this from target too it's like a, called a mango bowl and it's just this nice wooden bowl and it's by the threshold brand oh it says it's a dough bowl so i don't know what this bowl is called but it's cute and i like it and i thought we could put like our keys and stuff like that in here and then we can also hide some stuff in this these little drawers right here so yeah let's go ahead and let's clear everything off so we can get a clean slate and we can know like you know what's going on where we want things and all of that
little holes in the wall and I am putting a little shelf for Noah and Nola's little sweaters or hats, whatever they wanna hang up here. And then on top of that, I'm putting a little mirror. Now this space was really important to me for the kids to have so they can be a little more independent. We definitely practice some Montessori lifestyle parenting stuff here in our home and I really wanted to implement this and make sure they have their own little space to get ready and be able to see themselves in a little place to do their daily affirmations that we try to do every day and you know just feel a little more independent and yes so that was important and now I'm putting down rug tape this is what we picked up at Home Depot and you guys let me tell you this rug tape is a game changer I'm gonna say it again a game changer if you're doing any kind of home decor or rug lay it just makes it so you don't have to worry about your kids slipping and sliding or even yourself the rug stays in place and I absolutely love that I put it in three different places the ends in the middle and you guys this stuff works so well I'll try to link it down below if I can find it if not any Home Depot should have rug tape and I'm sure you can find it online but yes this stuff works really well and safety is so important especially when you have kids you don't want rugs slipping and sliding everywhere it works so much better than those like liner things you put underneath usually the rugs i highly recommend rug tape just a quick reminder when you're decorating any space you don't have to go out and buy all new stuff definitely repurpose reuse and upcycle what you already have at home and just feel like you're making it your space your vibe whatever you want it to be but don't feel like you always have to go out and buy new stuff i definitely used a lot of stuff that i already had on hand and i love to do this really for decorating any space Now I'm just putting Noah and Nola's little shoe basket underneath with our shoes so that way they can also sit down and put their shoes on. They're not, they are not quite at the stage where they can put their shoes on just yet but this way they can be independent and get their shoes out by themselves and they really enjoy this when they know we're about to go out. So I put their little shoe basket down. Okay you guys, it's done. Finally it's done. I'm so excited to show and like reveal this little space to you guys. I absolutely love it. Are you guys ready? It's totally my vibe and I'm loving all the different textures and tones. I'm loving all the different textures and tones in this little area. So it's like our mudroom slash entryway. So kind of a mix of both as well as has some mon as well as incorporating some Montessori like lifestyle stuff for the kids. I really, really wanted to make our home even more Montessori for them to be able to be independent and access some of their own stuff. So yeah, you guys, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and let's reveal the space. Are you guys ready? Should we count down? Five, four, three, two, one. Can you see yourself? Yeah. I told that. Ooh. Do you like it? And your shoes are down there. Your shoes are right there. You don't need to put them on right now, but. That's your hat. And your sweater. What's this? That's your shelf. Oh, my shelf. Yeah. That's a carpet. A 
Pop it. You like it? Pop it. You did your dance? Wow. Let me see you look in the mirror. Let me see you look in the mirror. Wow. You are so handsome. You're beautiful. You're smart. You're kind. What's this? What's what? What's this? This is mommy's table. It has all of our stuff on it. And all these cards. Yeah. You're going to put your cards up there? Okay. That's okay too. <laughs> That's okay too. Are you a big boy? What do you guys think? Do you guys love this space? I absolutely love this space. It's totally me. Well, obviously it's me because I decorated it. But I love it and it's really simple. It's functional. We got the Montessori area over here. So Noah, it's about to be summertime. So he's probably not going to need a coat or jacket that often. But we do blast the AC here in the summertime. It's really hot here in California. So I will... Like, I would like to keep a sweater over there because you never know. It gets cold in the house. Or on summer nights, it gets a little chilly as well. And to be honest, Nola just likes to try random things on. And sweaters and cardigans has been her thing, her little jam lately. And she loves to go look at herself in the mirror in our room. Now, the mirror isn't really down at her height, really. I didn't want her to pull it off and break it. So it's more at Noah's height where he can see himself. It might be a little high, but I might adjust it. We'll see. I might bring it down just like a little bit more. But yes, you guys, I absolutely love it. Um, I ended up putting the kids' shoe basket down here as well. So the shoes are really accessible for the kids to... They don't really know how to put on their shoes, but they can at least grab them. And they get excited when you get their shoes out and it's time to go outside. So I thought it would be nice to have them have access to their shoes. So it's also just next to the adult shoes. So they could be independent and grab their own shoes. And of course, I'll still have to put them on, which is fine. Um, but yeah, we also added the little basket of masks over there because Miss Rona is still going on and we still have to wear our masks. So I thought it would be nice to just have it right by the door just in case you want to run out and you don't want to forget your mask. So that's essential right now. And yeah, you guys, I hope you guys really like the space. It's simple and I think it's going to really serve well for all of our little needs in this area and yeah i hope you guys really like this video make sure you like please make sure you like subscribe if you're new and we'll do some more makeover videos this was so much fun and i really enjoyed it and i hope you guys did too so yeah make sure you like subscribe all that stuff and i will see you in the next one bye